John Lordson is known for covering a lot of farming and agricultural stories, but nothing prepared him for this. In tonight's Finding Minnesota, John takes us to Bruton in Stearns County for a much different kind of farming, one that's a little squirmy. They look really good for this age. These are only about six weeks old. And Mike and Karen Larson have a nursery on their property, one that contains thousands of baby worms. If you'd have told me I would have been a worm farmer five years ago, I would have laughed at you. I just thought there's no way. I didn't know anything about it. Now he probably knows more than he ever wanted to. When the Larsons retired a few years ago, they moved from the Twin Cities to central Minnesota. Mike got a little bored, so he decided to become a farmer. It's a different kind of livestock. Different kind of livestock. It's, um, um, you know, there's similarities. We've got to take care of our young, and then they put off a lot of heat in the winter. We have to ventilate this room. These aren't the type of worms you use to catch walleyes. They are night crawlers from Africa. Oh, that's mushy. Look at that. It's like spaghetti. The Larsons sell the worm castings. It's what these slimy invertebrates leave behind. And when put in the soil, plants eat it up. It's the fecal matter of the worm, it's like a probiotic for your soil. And so we kind of felt like we'd be helping people if they could eat healthier. There are more than 6,000 African night crawlers in each bin and about 250 bins in this facility. If you're doing the math at home, that's more than a million wiggling worms. It works like this. During the winter when the ground is hard, Mike and Karen harvest peat from a bog near Bruton. It's like betting for the night crawlers. We have to have the right amount of moisture, the right amount of feed. All that's right. Everything else kind of falls into place. The night crawlers wouldn't survive our colder climate, so the temperature in the worm room is between 70 and 85 degrees. I always called it my tropical paradise in the winter. So we'd come in here and be 74 degrees with 80% humidity. Several times a week, harvesting takes place. Bins full of night crawlers are run through a machine called a trauma. It separates the castings from the cocoons and the worms. Then the night crawlers go for a bit of a ride, like the world's smallest cliff divers, back into the bin. It's kind of like a ride of Valley Fair for worms. That they, we hope that they're liking the ride. In addition to organic worm castings, the couple also sells something called worm tea. You wouldn't want to drink it. But the plants love it. This is what the tea looks like when it's done. I always say I want it to look like a fine IPA. For the Larsons, the early bird definitely gets the worm. They and their crew put in long hours, which is why they're always looking for a little help. Uh, if this TV geez. thing doesn't work out, I got a future. There you go, that's right. In Bruton, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Larsons named their farm Brute Worm Farm in honor of the Brute Snowmobile Company that used to be in Bruton. The couple offers tours of their facility. Maybe you can get a handful, like John. For more information, we've put a link on our website. Just go to WCCO.com and click on links.